guys, it's Wilma Kinesen and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an amazing unboxing and reveal for you guys. If you did not see my last vlog, I will link it below. But guess what, baby? We went to Louis and Saint Laurent. So let's get to unboxing. First of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. My name is Wilma Kaysen, and I hope that after this video, if you like it, you give it a thumbs up. And if you have seen some of my other videos and you like my content, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button below so that you get notified every time I load a video. So, so for my last vlog, if you saw, last weekend I went to the city to meet a couple of friends for brunch to celebrate someone's birthday. It was an amazing time. Um, I kind of dragged them around the city. It was supposed to be brunch, but if you ever hang out with me, it's especially if it's a brunch, we're never going to just brunch and go home because it's so early. You brunch at noon and I'm going to drag you to every restaurant, bar, lounge. I'll take you from uptown to midtown to Flatiron. I'm going to take you everywhere. So that's what we did. And it was an amazing, amazing day. Happy birthday, Kim. I hope that you had a fun time because I had an amazing time. At any rate, because I'm so bad, I wanted to pop into the flagship Louis Vuitton store on Fifth Avenue because I had not been there in so long and I wanted to check out a couple of things in my What's in My Bag video for my Buber to a lot of you chimed in and thank you so much for weighing in on what I should get as a tech bag. So I went to the flagship store looking for what a lot of you suggested, which is the Toiletry 19 as well as a toiletry 15. I felt that the 19 was too big for me, so I wanted to look for the 15. They did not have it in stock, so I told her I was gonna check my local, my more local um, Louis Vuitton store in the Short Hills Mall. Awesome. My sales associate was Shimako. She was awesome. She then passed me on to Stefano. If you're at the flagship store, look for both of them and tell them that I sent you because they're phenomenal. The second reason why I wanted to pop into that store was because a lovely YouTuber, the Pampered Pinup, posted a video on YouTube. I'll link it below, but it's called Louis Vuitton Luggage Tags Without Buying Luggage. And when I saw that video, I was so excited because my lovely sales associates were going to order tags for me, but it seemed a little... I don't know. They were, they were willing to do it, but it just seemed like they were a little apprehensive. So when I saw this video on um, the Pampered Pinups page, I was so relieved and I said, well, I have to go to the Fifth Avenue store to see, experience what she talked about. So the Pampered Pinup, thank you so much for your video. Again, everyone, I'm going to link that below. And basically, she said that if you go in, speak to a sales associate, they will direct you to the fourth floor where they have where it's called client services they will pull out a tray for you and it's your picking you pick whatever luggage tag you want if you want it hot stamped they will get it prepared for you within two hours so you know it worked out um and if you saw it in the vlog and again i'll link the vi my video below to my vlog from last weekend when i walked into the store i saw a wall a complete display and I've seen it in other people's videos after like this week I watched a few people's videos who went into the Louis Vuitton store like I watched a Kim Chella video from a few months ago when she did that, that bag exchange thing um, that she got from eBay and she went to the store and exchanged it um, when she walked into that Louis Vuitton store which I think is in Sydney they had that wall of luggage tags which it's so beautiful um, so I was helped by the lovely Stefano who brought me up to client services. I forget the young man's name who helped me. Um, wasn't the most gentle person, but um, he did his job and I appreciate that. So I went up to the fourth floor of client services. Stefano closed out a, tent, a sale for me, which I will share that with you in a minute. And he took me to look at some luggage tags. So as I looked at the luggage tags, I knew that I wanted to get a Vaquetta leather, Vaquetta leather luggage tag for my um, port documents, which I'm planning on redoing the whole bag, but I wanted to get a luggage tag for that. I also wanted to get um, a luggage tag for my Montserrat GM in the monogram canvas. I wanted to get a luggage tag for my Montserrat GM in the Damia Ben, and also my port document Jour in the color Neptune. I wanted to get a luggage tag for that as well. Really nice. They told me I can pick whichever ones I want. So I picked my two and then the chocolate brown and then the blue and I'm not sure which one these are and they were so kind they told me that because it's the year of the rooster 
that you can get the Rooster Hot stamps on the back of your tag for free. So these are my, these look like, they come in the box, I'm sorry. Um, everything came with a dust bag and a box, which I thought was really, really nice of them. Um, and these two, I believe, are my Avocado Leather ones. And I got them with a W on them. And then, like I said, on the back is the Rooster. So that's these two items here. In this bag came the other two. I really wanted small luggage tags, but the experience was a little overwhelming for me because he wasn't the friendliest person. So when I mentioned that I wanted smaller tags, he goes, you can't have that. And I was like, okay. And underneath my Dami Ben, like the chocolate brown luggage tag, my idea was to get like a dark red, like a burgundy initial on it hot stamped and then have like that same color dark red luggage tag behind the chocolate to bring out the Tumi luggage that I just purchased and he's like you can't get that that dark burgundy color and I said well it's on your wall downstairs and he says no you can't get it so I was like all right I remember I really said that I wanted to get the the smaller luggage tags for the both for both of my backpacks but once he started shutting me down I was just like okay I'll, I'll take whatever so here is the blue luggage tag and I made the mistake, guys. So my port document drawer has silver hardware. And I said, well, I want, obviously, my hot stamp to match the hardware. But the hardware on this tag is gold. Come to find out, I get home. This is the wrong color blue. So I am stuck with a luggage tag that matches nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. It has the rooster on the back. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to sell it. Who knows? But I have that. And then the lovely... My, this is probably my favorite one. It is the chocolate brown with that beautiful red hot stamp. There's the rooster on the back with the gold hardware. They all have gold hardware, by the way. So this is what they look like, pretty much. And the chocolate brown one is super, super gorgeous. And I put it on my Monster GM backpack in the Dami Ben next to my suitcase, and it's beautiful. And I'm just, it rocks. So... I leave, I come back, and when I went to go pick them up, the gentleman who helped me, he said this one was beautiful, and I explained the whole luggage thing to him, and he said, you can order that burgundy piece of that luggage tag. So he was so kind, he ordered it for me, and it's coming in. I am super, super, super excited. So that is that. I'm going to do a separate video just on the luggage tags, guys, because it's just, it's a whole video in itself. And the big item, which Stefano, I, I purchased before I even got the luggage tags, when Shemeka was helping me, and you guys suggested that I get the toiletry 19 or 15, and it just really wasn't working for me, she said, well, we have other bags. I told her I was looking for something to carry with my, in my Buberg tote, which was Dami E. Ben, and she said, well, do you want to mix your patterns like that? And I was like, I don't know. And I said, I really would love something that comes in Dami Eben and that comes in Monogram Canvas. So she said, well, we have waist bags. And I told her that I have the um, Gange Pouchette from years ago. And as she's telling me that, I start telling her that there was another bag that came out around the same time that the Gange Pouchette came out. And she goes in the drawer and she pulls out this item, which comes in this box, and says, we have this. And, I, and that's the bag that I started to say that I wanted and I've wanted for about 12 years so it comes in the box with the magnetic closure to reveal the dust bag and the item that I picked up and no this item is not going to be my tech case but because she had this item I had to get it and the item oops sorry it comes in the dust bag and it opens up and guys, it's the Dami E. Ben Geronimo waist bag, shoulder crossbody bag. I literally had been looking at this bag since probably 2001 or two. Um, and it just kept falling lower on the totem pole. I've wanted this bag since it was like $700. And as it went up in price, like my Buberg tote was $1,150. So when this went up to $1,100 or $1,150, I kept saying I can't justify it. But as I always look at it, because it's on my Louis Vuitton wish list on their website, so every time I look at it, it says call to purchase. So in my heart, I kept saying, this thing's going to get discontinued. It's something you've wanted forever. Just get it. And when she pulled it out of the drawer, she said, if you want it, get it. We just got an email saying it's going out. It's being discontinued. So 
I'm so happy that I have it. It's just a bag that you can carry crossbody in the front or back. There's your, your tab that says Louis Vuitton made in Spain. It has the golden hardware, gold hardware here that says Louis Vuitton on the buckle. And it also has this snap closure here, which I think is really interesting. I don't know what you would put in there. I have no clue. But um, I think it's really, really adorable. And I'm so happy that I snagged this. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton Dummy Eben Geronimo waist bag or belt bag. And Shimako was really, really awesome in pulling this out because had she not and I sat on it, I probably would have missed getting this bag because it's being discontinued. So review on this coming soon guys now as i walked out of, louis, out of the louis vuitton store because like i said i had to go back to pick up the tags after they were hot stamps i walked next door to saint laurent and there's an item in there that i had been eyeing for so long and i literally told my friends i text them because they're like why are you walking into um saint laurent and i said i'll be five to ten minutes and literally i walked in and walked out the guy was super easy to work with. I told him what I wanted, he wrapped it up, and I was out of it. He gave me some water while I waited, but I really didn't get to drink it because it was so quick. So the team at St. Laurent is absolutely amazing. The gentleman who helped me, I will tell you his name, it's a really nice name, Naven. Naven helped me. Um, super, super nice guy. It comes in this bag here, which has a tab here that says St. Laurent, Pauri. And I love how this bag kind of opens like so. Inside the bag has your receipt here that says St. Laurent Paris and the item comes in this dust bag here. I'm sure you can probably guess what it is out of just which one. That's the question. I picked up the E. St. Laurent card, card holder in the black on black with this grained sort of caviar leather which is like the Chanel caviar. Guys this thing seems super super sturdy. It's made really really well. Um, I've tried a couple of cards in it and it seems it's a tight fit and the reason why I started carrying this is because the past couple of days probably the last two weeks I've been carrying my Louis Vuitton card holder and the Epi and the colors indigo so it's this blue card holder and I know there's a, card, there's a card holder craze right now and I kept thinking no I can't carry a card holder like I I need I, would, I feel like empty, like I need a bag, I need to throw things in the bag, but I have to say, carrying a card holder for the past two weeks has been amazing. It's super light, you have your essentials, a little bit of cash, and so in carrying that, I said to myself, I think I could do this card holder thing. So I've been eyeing this for so long, but again, had not been sold on it. I hadn't even carried my Louis Vuitton card holder in two years, a year and a half, so I carried that to sort of break myself in, found that I loved it, and then I went and purchased this baby and I'm so excited to use it. I'm transferring everything to it tonight and I'm gonna start carrying it um, this week. I'm so excited about this and as soon as I put it to some use and get a good feel for it, I will definitely do a review for you guys. So that's all that I have today. I do have a video that I'm gonna be working on my 2017 wish list. And then after that, I'm gonna get into a review of this baby and I'm gonna compare it to my Louis Vuitton epi card holder thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you found this video fun and uh, definitely comment below if you liked anything if you want to see some more about some of the items i purchased and i will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to hit subscribe bye guys